Daisy Bradley from Mealy Perth School, who won our Designer School Games poster competition. So we'd like to give Daisy a big round of applause as she comes on to collect her award. It came from a love that all the values and thought about all the good things about them and then put what they need to me. Sport uh, has a massive uh, role in my life. It gave me my first job as a disability sport coach. Uh, I still do that job now. And I'm thankful to play wheelchair basketball as part of my career as well. Uh, so I'm very lucky. Very similar to what you're doing now, like it's a multi sport event. Um, you know, you meet people that you don't probably wouldn't normally meet, you make new friends. We are the Please still have the winter school games are going. Uh, well today there's over a thousand young people taking part, 90 uh, volunteers supporting the event. Um, with regards to bringing it all together, there's multiple partners involved, um, including primary schools, secondary schools, um, and the planning for today's event started in September last year, um, so it's taken around about six months to plan. The school games are a London 2012 legacy programme. Um, they actually started the year before in 2011, so this is their sixth year, um, and in Herefordshire and Worcester in particular they get bigger and better every year. Um, you can see behind the handballs going on, that's a new sport for this year and that was identified as a demand amongst pupils across, across Worcestershire and um, if it continues, which I'm sure it will, the, the games will just get bigger and bigger to continue that legacy from London 2012 and hopefully get more people taking part in sport and activity. Uh, so we've been going around all the different events, um, taking pictures, keeping track of the scores um, and making sure we upload it onto the live feed. You know, a lot of kind of experience doing something like media, I've never done that before. Actually getting behind the camera and interviewing people that have played basketball professionally in wheelchairs, so that's been a very good experience. I've also had, to, had the chance to interview people that are just here to take part, like children-wise, and I've just gained a lot of confidence and knowledge. Essentially, the skills that I've been uh, improving on is definitely confidence, um, especially with the just elite athletes, because you don't get to meet them as much as uh, you, know, you wish to. Also, looking at the games and the competition and just the way that this, this event is just inspiring all the young athletes and the way that they're uh, developing their skills as well. today about this event? Um, I've enjoyed that we were able to socialise with other schools as well as playing against them and I think that it was just good because it was a competitive scene and everyone was getting involved. Yeah I, I really enjoyed playing as well like it's good to be like competitive as well as just like making friends and stuff like that. There's no sportsmanship with all the other teams coming together. <laughs> yeah, it's good fun. They have a bit of a build up obviously to try and get here in the first place. It means that we have more people come to extracurricular clubs because they want to be a part of this. Um, obviously we've got a lot of young leaders involved as well so um, it gives them a chance not only to perform as a sports person but also to take part as a leader. So it's a big event for us in our school and we really enjoy coming. I've been in like their situation where I've been at the school games and it's like quite tense and a bit daunting sometimes and feel like I can put them at ease a bit. It's important to volunteer such as yourself and would you do it again? Uh, yeah, it is important and yeah, I would do it again. Um, in, in events like this and, and other events that we run, students are essential with regards to making sure they happen. Like I said, there's over 90 here today. Um, we run other events throughout the course of the year, including workplace challenge events, so that involves bringing businesses from across the county together to take part in sporting activities. And again, students are key with regards to helping us run those events. In terms of wider sports participation, again, um, in sports clubs or in leisure centres, volunteers are, are key to, to making that happen. If it, if it wasn't for them, um, sport and physical activity at a grassroots level just wouldn't happen. Um, as you said, role model. I could be a role model to others, so they'll see that and they'll probably follow my footsteps. Also, it's good to help kids. What have you enjoyed today about today's event? What have you enjoyed the most? Um, I've enjoyed getting to know more people from different yeah. schools and play competitive. Well, I really enjoy sport. Yeah. I feel like I can see myself maybe in 20 years like, going yeah. around that track doing all that. Um, 
Um, I like the competitiveness um, that everyone's showing. Playing with different teams as well, like we wouldn't get to play with normally. Obviously sport, it gives you determination to do all the things in life and it, sh it gives you like, other like, skills that you can use outside of sport. I think it's just an experience for us to try out a new sport that I, I think Ash as well, we didn't have any prior experience no, to it. No, no experience at all. So what skills do you think you've developed throughout today's event and other events such as this? Uh, I feel we've uh, come together as a team. A lot of uh, the teamwork that we've put together and competitiveness has uh, really come into play with what we've been doing. What changed your perspective on sport and school games? Um, I think for me, like growing up, when I was in school, I didn't really have the opportunity to play sport. Like my my school weren't very good at like adapting like the you know the PE lessons. Um, so I kind of sat out quite a lot, which was difficult. Um, and then you know you get into a sport and you do things like school games. So it shows you know other kids as well that like how to involve you in it and like how to just. Get you, get you, yeah. you know, moving. Not, like not, not many people had that day off, no, especially no. when we went to school. And yeah. today, society, it's all changed, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's a lot better. Yeah. For some of these children, this, this will be like the pinnacle of their sporting careers, and for some, it's going to inspire them to take it up uh, with uh, like the Olympics and the impact that's had. So yeah, it's massive, and it's good to see it. so many like children take part in this activity. So what do you feel like is the benefits of engaging in an event like this, especially for the young children, the generation that's coming up? Uh, children that are now down here in, in year three or year four, hopefully it's that pathway that yeah. they can progress you know, to, to the national. So taking part for their school, the pride in taking part in a local event for their school, to then come and represent them, them here, to go on to nationals and all those kinds of things, it's absolutely huge. And do you feel there's any future plans that may have changed or anything that could Hopefully improve? Not. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> um, again, it's all based on yeah. funding, but events, events such as this, you know, it's a big, it's a big cost from school themselves. You know, to come and the travel to get here, releasing staff, and all those kinds of things. But the schools are willing to make that commitment. So then, you know, with events like this, it, it's, it's amazing. It's well worth whatever the costs are to put, you know, to put to have so many children here take part in so many different sports. Um, Okay, I think that's all the questions that we've asked you. Yeah, it was pleasant having you here. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, giving the, the time. Well. No Thank you.